the Toyota Tundra or the Toyota Tacoma? Which truck do I like better? You know, I've had a lot of questions on the channel about that, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to answer it today. <music> everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive FST. First of all, let me say that I had a little trouble trying to decide which channel I wanted to put this on. I have two dealing with the Toyota products, of course, the Toyota trucks. Rob Motive, which is about my Toyota Tacoma sitting right up there, and Rob Motive FST about my Tundra sitting right there. I decided obviously to go ahead and put it on the FST or the the Tundra channel that I have. Um, let's get started. It's uh, it's kind of a tough question for me, and you know, it kind of depends, I suppose, on what you're gonna do with the truck. You know, if you'd have asked me that before, most recently when I had my 2020 Tacoma, you know, I might have had to have said right out the Tundra. And that's because of the ride quality I had and the power that I had before the Sprint Booster on that Toyota Tacoma. You know, it just wasn't that great. The shifting, it was a manual transmission. And while I love manual transmissions, don't get me wrong, it was so rough and just didn't feel well in that truck that it made the driving experience a lot less pleasurable for me than it was driving the Toyota Tundra. But now, over on the Rob Motive channel, of course we have the new 2021 Toyota Tacoma. It's an automatic, and I gotta say, it makes the, tough, the choice, rather, even more difficult. So let's look at the, the Tacoma first off, then we're gonna go to the Tundra. You know, the Tacoma, it's small, it's a mid-sized truck, fits everywhere, great in tighter parking lots, when you have to park in a parking lot. Personally, that's one of my least favorite places to go. But if I have to go, it's much easier to park this truck than it is the Toyota Tundra. You know, from a power standpoint, I must say, with the Sprint Booster installed, it's a heck of a lot more fun to drive. Without it, hands down, it has to be the Tundra. I mean, it's got the V8 in it, it's more powerful, it's quicker, it's faster off the line. And frankly, if you like that, which I do, it's just more fun to drive. Now, with the Tacoma, as far as appearance goes, it's a gorgeous looking truck. I mean, I love the way that it looks right out of the box, but so is the Tundra. You know, comparing the Tundra now to the new version, I'm not so sure. Something's just a little off with this new Tundra, in my opinion. Now, I think as time goes forward, you know, Toyota will tweak it here and there. Maybe whatever it is that's off about it, and I just can't put my finger on it, will get a little bit better. We shall see. Now, in looking at the Tundra itself, I mean, size-wise, it's massive. Now, I'm not talking about for maneuverability and driving around. I'm talking about interior comfort. There's just a ton of space in there. You never feel confined. I can reach all the way across the truck, and still not hit anything. And it's, it's just a much more wide open feeling inside. Now, the Tacoma, while not horrible, don't get me wrong, it is tighter. When you've got somebody sitting inside, you know, right over there in the passenger seat, if both your arms are on the center console, you're probably gonna rub elbows a little bit. There's just not as, enough, not as much space. Now, the rear of the Tacoma, the back seat area, eh, I would hate to ride in, in, in the back of the Tacoma for any long distance. It just can't be comfortable. I've been in the back a couple of times, briefly, and I gotta say, it's, it's not so much about the room, and you don't have a lot, and when I say room, I'm talking about your knees in relation to the back of the front seats. I've got about that much room given my seating position but it's the angle of the seat. It's just not comfortable up and down. It's like it's too far forward. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to, to describe, but it almost feels like it sits too forward, like you're sitting too far up and down or too, too much up and down, I guess. Needs to have a little bit of a recline in it. Now that's probably personal preference. 
You know, my wife makes fun of me when I'm driving the way I have my seat. It's kind of angled back a bit, you know, kind of towards the rear, if you will. But that's the way it is most comfortable for me, so that's the way I have it set up. Inside the Tundra, of course, it's cavernous. It's huge back there. You know, we took a, a trip in that truck, eh, maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. We took the dog with us, and there was plenty of room for him back there. Of course, he's not huge. He's a dog, you know, about this big or so. But plenty of space back there for him. And of course, there would have been in the Tacoma, too. I mean, he's not a big dog. But just more room to be able to put stuff, too. You know, we had him back there. We had luggage on each side really to keep him off the windows and to keep his nails from scratching the trim work, but still a ton of room back there for him. And when it comes to people, because I realize a lot of people probably don't haul dogs around in their trucks, but when it comes to people, there's plenty of space back there. You can have people on each side. You're not gonna be touching each other. There's plenty of room, at least the way I have my seat set up between your knees and the front seat. I mean, probably that much or so. It's just a much more, open feel i guess inside the toyota tundra now as far as the ride the quality of the ride the tacoma is firmer i mean it's a lighter truck when you hit bumps and things it's going to bounce around a little bit more that's really more just a function of the way the truck is because of its weight the tundra is heavy i think it's like 4800 pounds or something like that i forget but whatever it's heavier than the tacoma and of course it's more cushioned when you go over and bumps and things because of that. I will say too, one thing I've noticed, if you're gonna lift your truck, when I lifted my last Tundra, I didn't notice any difference. It was just a two-one lift. It wasn't anything severe, but I didn't even notice it. Whereas when I lifted my Tacoma, definitely could tell. When I say lift, I'm really talking lift and wheels and tires. So talking about a, a firmer, harder tire, in, con in conjunction with the lift itself. So it was definitely a lot firmer ride in the Tacoma, the previous one, than my Toyota Tundra. So overall, which one is better? You know, it depends on what you're doing. You know, if you're just kicking around town, you need to be able to get in and out of traffic, in and out of parking spaces, things like that. I would say probably the Tacoma. But if you're going on a long distance trip or you want more space and you want to be more comfortable, well then I would say hands down, it is the Tundra. Now, one more thing I almost forgot about because they're both trucks, right? Is fuel economy. Well, right now I'm getting about 13.4 or something like that in my Tundra and about 18.19 in my Toyota Tacoma. So obviously, if fuel economy is a sensitive thing for you, then hands down, it's gotta be the Toyota Tacoma, right? I mean, you're talking about right around six miles per gallon or so different. So it would be the Tacoma in that case, but really overall, it does depend on what you're doing with it and what your mood is too. I gotta say, sometimes I feel like driving the Tacoma and sometimes I feel like driving the Tundra. So it kind of depends. Anyway, I know that's not a real definitive answer, but maybe a few things to consider if you're kind of on the fence deciding which one you want to go with. Get what feels best for you, and I suppose what is going to be the best for your wallet, depending on how sensitive you are. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've had both a Tundra and a Tacoma, which one do you prefer? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, as I mentioned, all about my Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.